Okay, I'm going to do the unknown here, <laughs> and what I should do is do an intro video before I go places, because later I'm like, oh shoot, that doesn't have an intro. So I shoot it in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, today I'm about to head out. It's about a three hour drive to, I think it's called Gunnison National... Uh, National Park, and it has like a black canyon, that's what I'm going for. I'm going to camp there tonight, I think, and then... Uh, the next day I'm going to Colorado National Monument, which is like an hour north of there. So I'm about to head out get some geocaches on the way. Um, I am like 30 minutes from where I live and uh, I'm in like a canyon right now kind of. And it's really pretty but my windshield's dirty so I didn't want to like record it the whole drive but it's really pretty. caching and there's one very close here that's the only reason I stopped I didn't know this was here but um, this little sign says that this is where they would air quotes coke the coal and then they would send it to Pueblo so that's what all these little oven things are anyways nice view um, there's not very many geocaches on this road so. I just came to do a little turnaround so I can get back on the road there's some horses just roaming apparently. okay I made it to Black Canyon which I'm a little stressed about, but I'll explain that later. This looks about as deep as a Royal Gorge. Um, I'm doing some kind of scenic drive right now, but... I mean, I had to pull out, pull off, and get off the road here, but... I'm really scared that, um, like, that's the other side, obviously. And I'm scared that that, I mean, the highway is like, the totally, it's complicated, but I'm scared I'm going to have to drive all the way around to get to the other side, because um, it doesn't seem like there's much on this north end, but hopefully it works out. The first thing on this sign is like, do you feel uneasy looking at this? And yes, yes I do. I'm not necessarily afraid of heights, but like, when you look over there, I imagine looking at the Grand Canyon would give you the same effect, where it's like, you can't pick things out with your eyes and it's like some sort of illusion. That's just kind of what it feels like. I keep missing places to stop because it's just like a little sign and then a turn off and then I pass it, but I don't know how long this road's gonna go. I just see all those cars over there. I wish I was over there. <laughs> I feel like I made a wrong turn because it was like dirt roads all the way here and it was really sketchy, but Okay, I think this is either the last stop or the one right before the last stop. And I walked over to these rocks right here to stand on. Um, and then I took a really um, a dorky picture. I, I put the phone in these trees right here <laughs> and turned the timer on because there's literally no one around and I'm always alone. So I never like get pictures of me places. So I was like, wait, I think I have a timer on my camera. So hopefully that turned out okay. I'm now on the south rim. It took about two hours to get here. Uh, $20 to get in. Not sure if that's worth it yet, but there's like 12 stops up here. It is so weird because you can walk 500 feet and it's a completely different view. Okay, I think this is like stop number 8 or 9. And like I said, there's like 12 stops, but I feel like it's 
This all could be done without charging people $20. I guess I should have asked like the last place um, what the $20 is for. Um, Cause at the last place she was like, it's just the parking. So I should, I mean, I guess that's what I'm doing this whole time is parking, but still. And I, uh, they said it's separate for camping. So kind of a rip off, but it's fine. Really pretty clouds above those mountains. It's really getting dark um, in that direction. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna start raining. Um, I planned on camping in um, Montrose or whatever, which is like only about 10 miles where I came from. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like camping. I wanna go home, but um, I mean, it took almost four hours to get down here, so. I don't want to like waste the trip. I mean, I've seen what I was going to see, but still it just feels kind of, I don't know. Okay guys, I'm between Salida and the uh, Black Canyon where I just was. Um, it's pretty stormy that way, so I decided to come this way. Um, we just crossed that bridge and I'll view some more side of the lake. Um, it's starting to rain now just as soon as I said I didn't go the other way because of the storm, but I know it was storming the other way uh, because it was lightning, so hopefully this is just raining. Now it kind of seems like I'm going to stay alongside this lake for a while here, probably a seven miles maybe, maybe ten, but we'll keep you updated with the Hey guys, this is where I'm going to end the video for today. Um, I ended up coming back to Salida um, because I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on over here. I just, I didn't feel like, um, driving and well the thing is i didn't feel like parking in that town and then i didn't want to drive tomorrow to that other place when i can get that on one of my other trips that i'm planning so i don't know i just wasn't feeling it and <laughs> i came back here so i'll try to camp here tonight somewhere close and then uh just get geocaches tomorrow so anyway i got some geocaches here in slida i came up on this mountain didn't go all the way up but here's the view I'm gonna ha go have dinner. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Hello, new ending to the video. <laughs> I've been geocaching it's the next day. I've been geocaching all day, and I just randomly went down this road to get one. So, anyways, bye.